Almost all of us have done this. Or at least most of us who have ridden a mountain bike much have crashed. This was me just a couple weeks ago riding my Kona. I totally ate it. You see, the last couple months I've been switching back and forth between a couple bikes. My 87 Ritchie Ascent and my 94 Kona Explosive. Two awesome XC bikes from two totally different decades. I've updated both of them with modern components, both with 1x10 setups. The Ritchie has some awesome Paul component cantilevers up front, while the Kona is running some Shimano SLX disc brakes. Totally different. With the cantilevers, the stopping power is progressive. With the SLX disc brakes, it's essentially all or nothing. <laughs> that slight dab on my brakes, that on my Ritchie maybe would have only just slowed me down enough to steer away from that tree, was more than enough to lock up the brakes on my Kona and send me over the bars. So, why am I telling you all this? You see, last week I built up another bike. This one with my son Camden. On this build, we installed some new Magura MT8 SL Raceline brakes. And aside from maxing out the meter for cool factor, these brakes have modulation. I had heard before I installed them that this was one of the things people either liked or didn't like about Magura brakes. They have a progressive, smooth feel to them before totally locking up. Man, I love these brakes. I have only been riding this bike for a week and at that, trading back and forth with my son who also wants to ride it. Climbs like a beast. Yeah. It hauls. So my review is really just a small one. The smooth modulation and progressive stopping power with the Maguras is a huge plus for me. Thank you. I'm the last biker. I really like these brakes. They've got such a nice ease in. Smooth, smooth transition into a stop. Like that. Not only do I love the smoothness to the braking, but its modulative feel <laughs> is similar to that of rim brakes, albeit with a lot less effort. As a note, my son actually prefers the stopping feel of the SLX brakes. That's what he's more used to. But for me, an old-school cross-country biker who regularly rides with rim brakes? I love the more familiar feel these Magura brakes give me. I know this is not a full review of these brakes. Perhaps I will do one in the future about reliability and after a lot more riding. But with a first look at these brakes, I'm super impressed. I really love the way they feel. It's really hard to describe. Now, <laughs> would these Maguras have kept me from that endo a couple weeks ago? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. But it did highlight for me the reason why I liked them. I'm looking forward to a lot more rides with them and really testing them out more and more. 
If you've had experience with the Megura brakes, let me know in the comments below. I know that this progressive modulation that I felt on the Meguras is something that a lot of people have described on the Megura brakes themselves, whether you're looking at the MT-8s that I have here, or maybe some of the more entry-level brakes. They're all supposed to have some of that selective feel. So, <laughs> thanks for listening to my story today. Get out there and ride your vintage bikes. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. All right, so that wipeout has got me going. Super cautious. Bent my head a little bit. Enough to dent my helmet. And I have had a few too many concussions. I'm not feeling, feeling it right now. It feels like my helmet did it. But I want to make sure I don't all of a sudden pass out when I'm going fast. I'm <laughs>